Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how the ILS signals are protected using ILS critical area and ILS sensitive area. First, let's understand what is an ILS. ILS stands for Instrument Landing System. This is a precision radio navigation system which helps pilots land an aircraft safely. This system consists of a localizer and a glide slope. The localizer signals are used to keep the aircraft aligned on the runway's center line. The glide slope signals are used to keep the aircraft on the correct descend path. The localizer and glide slope antennas are installed on ground near the runway in the airfield. ILS protection. If any fixed object or vehicles, such as an aircraft, is within the ILS coverage area, it can cause disruptions to the ILS signals. These signal disruptions will have an impact on aircraft, which are on the approach path, using the ILS information. So, to protect the ILS signals during ILS operations, ILS critical areas, and ILS sensitive areas, are marked in the airport. ILS sensitive area. This is an area where movement or parking of vehicles, such as an aircraft, is controlled. Controlled movement would include obtaining clearance from ATC or following a certain taxiway or using proper signals or lights. The sensitive area extends beyond the critical area. ILS critical area. This is an area which should be clear of any obstructions. This means there should be no objects and no movement of vehicles in this area. There are markings on the taxiway, which mean that the aircraft is about to enter an ILS critical area. The ATC would restrict aircraft from entering the critical area when the visibility is low and aircraft are dependent completely on ILS signals for a safe landing. Factors impacting critical and sensitive areas. The ILS critical areas and the ILS sensitive areas are calculated in the planning stage before the ILS antennas are installed. The size of these areas depend on the type of antennas, the transmitter technology, category of the approach and landing, sizes and orientation of aircraft, antenna location, and the runway or taxiway layout. Protecting the ILS signals. If there is any disturbance to the ILS signals from the critical area, all the aircraft using the ILS information would be impacted. In case of signal disruption from the sensitive area, it may be temporary and affect only a single aircraft which is at a lower altitude and closer to the runway. The sensitive area would be enforced by the authorities only during low visibility conditions, CAT 2 and CAT 3. Both the ILS critical and sensitive areas have to be marked in an airport which has ILS operations. These areas ensure uninterrupted ILS signal transmission to the aircraft for a safe approach and landing. That's all for my video on the ILS signal protection. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.